on current through the pencil lead. That way I can measure its resistance. This is nothing for me. Ah. Oh, I Come on. Wow, this is wild. You can see how far... Hmm, there is nothing. Is there actually a voltage? You better. Sorry guys, the pain is too much for me, but I'm sure it's super power. Let's measure the current too. It's not making a good contact. Yeah. The AC. Ow. Ow. 1.3, 1.4. Tongue DC. I'm through the graphite and see how much it glows. Please wear safety gloves to protect your fingers and don't try this at home. Let me see if I can make some arcs. Some things to do. The first thing you need to do is to remove the broken bulb. Then we unscrew the outlet and pull it out. Use a tool to get the screw part out. Very carefully, they have to cut that tiny bridge. It needs to be connected to ground or negative. Uh. Please join me for the first time to hear how it sounds. And one, two, three, four. Fast. To unscrew the head and rotate it and mount it on the tail by piercing into the tail. Now to check my body tolerance, I set the output to minimum. At zero volts, it's pretty. It's a pity though. I thought I could share my artistic side with you. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, ready? Good as new. Now to improve the airflow, it's better to raise the mass and the body of the microwave. I just put a wire in here to kickstart the arc. Holy sh and you can see the lens here, and if I remove the lens, you'll see the giant flash capacitor right here. 2.1 microfarad. There is no brain in this sh They lied. All of them lied. Just it's connected to your load side first, so you wouldn't short your power supply or shock yourself. I just disconnect that specific room, which I believe is breaker number three. Now we can safely plug them in. <laughs> 